Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this kinematic typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation Width. I'll take 1920. Height. I'll take 1080. Frame rate is 30. Duration is 1.30 seconds. And for the background color, I'll choose Solid Black and hit OK and hit OK. Now click on this Choose Grid and Guide option and hit on the Title Safe action. Now hit Ctrl N to create a new composition. I'll call it as Text Strip and hit OK. Choose our text tool and type any text you want. I'll type hit Ctrl A to select this text. I don't want any stroke over here, so I'll delete this one. And over here, fill. I'll choose white color and type motion sorry design red space yep select this text press ctrl alt hope to align that anchor point to the center choose our selection tool go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press S for scaling option and scale this thing a little bit. Now after that, hit Ctrl D on keyboard and drag it at the top. Hit Ctrl D and drag it down. Now press Ctrl Y to create one solid layer. And for this color, I'll choose some gray color. Hit OK and hit OK and drag this at the bottom just like this now select this text press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text so we have one text comp over here and one background now go to our main animation drag this text strip over here select this text strip go to the effect and presets panel apply CC cylinder so it will create one cylinder over here for the radius I'll choose 70 just like this now hit control 0 to open our project window we have text strip comp over here hit control D I'll drag it over here now let's convert this thing into 3d now after that what I'll do right click over here create a new camera settings should be like this hit ok again create one null object over here and convert that null object into 3d now make this camera parent with this null object so it will control our camera select this null one press r for rotation properties and rotate this thing on x-axis let's say up to 40 percent just like this or more you can more than that now after that i'll go to the text strip to double click on it i don't want any background over here so i'll delete this not delete this but i'll hide this now go to our main animation as you can see we have something like this now after that what i'll do I'll choose this text strip one go to the effect and presets panel in this active camera I'll choose let's say front let's don't go to the active camera we will not get a proper results select this null one let's make it 90 or something like this 
select this text strip go to the position property and on y not on y or let's say on z axis i'll drag this at the top let's say minus 200 and for this one again we'll make it 40 select this null one press s for scaling option and scale it up like this yep select this one press r let's make it 50 yep this looks good to me now if i rotate it on y-axis we are getting this kind of thing but before that what we will do we will do our main animation over here so for that what i'll do create one keyframe on the position and i'll move this thing let's make it 2000 and create one keyframe now press u so we can see that keyframe zoom in a little bit and let's say two seconds maybe i'll make this zero or let's say minus 2000 move this thing over here let's say up to four seconds maybe now after that what i'll do i'll go to the rotation property of this text strip create one keyframe on the y rotation create one keyframe hit u as you can see we can rotate this so at this point let's make this two so it will rotate two times on this thing yep now after this select this one hit ctrl d and i'll move this text strip over here hit u we'll hit n so if i hit play we are getting this kind of stuff now we will select our null one press r for rotation let's rotate it something up to 25 we don't want to see this thing at the start so yep let's make it 20 and create one keyframe over here and let's say at this point let's make it minus 20 and again at this position Control c Control v so if i hit play now we are getting this kind of animations now select this keyframes and hit f9 now after that what we need to do we need to do some changes over here so i'll select this text strip right click go to the reveal and reveal layer in source in project now hit ctrl d over here and by holding alt i'll drag this on top of this text strip now double click over here i'll select this text go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it and for the color i'll choose green color and hit ok select this fill and just hit ctrl c so we have this green color over here now i'll go to the text strip of which is our bottom layer double click on it select this text hit ctrl d and hit ctrl v so it will paste our fill effect over here so over here what i'll do as we can see at one seconds it will rolling up on this uh, text mat maybe so double click on it go inside this i'll just move this thing over here and apply linear wipe effect on it 
and as you can see so we can animate this wipe but we don't want this on 90 we will make it minus 90 and i'll make this let's say not uh, it should be 90 sorry let's make it 100 initially create one keyframe hit u go to the main animation and let's see what is the ending time for so after this uh, at this point our animation should end so i double click over here and let's make it zero over here so if i go to my main animation we are getting this color changing effect over here now what we will do uh, let's say at this point we need to make this one white so double click on it select this layer hit ctrl d hit u i'll drag this thing over here and for the fill i'll choose white color and hit ok and now if i hit play we are getting this white color again so if i hit play now our animation will look like this so now after that hit ctrl y on keyboard to create a solid background layer and hit ok and i'll drag this thing over here make it lock just like this now after that what i'll do i'll select this layer go to the effect and presets and apply drop shadow effect on it increase the distance up to 20 softness i'll choose 30 or you can let's say 60 select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select both these uppermost layers and simply hit ctrl v so if we hit play we are getting this kind of stuff or select this thing or you need to increase the distance and in the increase the softness also same goes for this let's make it 38 and increase the softness Yeah. now after that what i'll do i'll select one adjustment layer and i'll apply blur effect on it let's say gaussian blur blurriness up to 30 repeat h in pixels or let's say 50 i'll choose my pen tool and i'll simply drag and create this mask on this adjustment layer make it fit as you can see we have one portion blur let's make it 20 go to the mask properties of this one and increase the mask feathers let you select this adjustment layer you can decrease the blurriness if you want I'll go with this press V for selection and I'll drag this layer over here so we are getting this kind of stuff now after that what I'll do I'll select this null object press P for position property alt click on this position stopwatch and I'll type let's say wiggle expression over here let's say 2 comma 2 comma 2 so it will create one wiggly animation just like this now right click create new adjustment layer and i'll apply glow effect on it let's increase the growth threshold up to 90 percent glow radius to 50 percent glow intensity up to 0.3 yep this looks good to me now there is another thing you can do just simply go to the any text strip you want select this text composition as we can see we have one normal text all i need to do is simply hit ctrl d drag these things at the top go to the character i'll delete this fill instead of that i'll choose single stroke and adjust these things 
simply like this so we can get this change in every composition so yep this is our final output So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then stay tuned.